Boston is a melting pot, and tension is building. Nobody likes invaders in their homes. To have people here, foreigners on your soil, is something, is a great incentive for people to fight. March 5th, 1770. After three days of unrest, an angry mob roams the streets. Hundreds of men who lost their jobs and blamed the British gather on King Street and face off against eight redcoats with orders not to fire. What's about to happen will change America forever. A 17-year-old wig maker's apprentice, Edward Garrick, lights the fuse. This is how wars start. Private Hugh Montgomery is hit with a club. African-American Crispus Attucks dies instantly. When the smoke clears, Four more are dead. How Boston reacts will change the course of history. Silversmith and political radical Paul Revere captures the moment British soldiers of Boston. His engraving will fuel the fires of revolution as outrage spreads across the 13 colonies. Unhappy Boston, see thy sons deplore, thy hallowed walks besmeared with guiltless gore, whilst faithless Preston and his savage bands with murderous rancor stretch their bloody hands. The most formidable army in the world, firing on an unarmed crowd, an explosive image with a title that says it all. The Bloody Massacre. There was the old joke, you give me a picture, I'll give you a war. Those who wanted to stir things up and to make a statement and maybe even lead a revolution, uh, it made them able to rally others to their side. News spreads fast. The colonists are avid readers, a legacy from the first Bible reading Puritans in Plymouth. Boston as the first weekly newspaper. There are now more than 40 papers across the colonies. And the new postmaster general, Benjamin Franklin, has introduced a revolutionary postal delivery system. Night riders cut the delivery time in half. The communications network connecting the colonies is one of the best in the world. British have no idea. They hope the news can be contained. Before news reaches England, most of America knows about the Boston Massacre. It's a very American spirit of an idea, uh, this idea that everybody should have access to knowledge. It's, uh, it's very much like that pioneering idea. Everybody should be able to make their way in the world. <laughs> a printer in Connecticut can read the exact same story as a farmer in North Carolina. 
December 1773. The Boston Gazette